Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. I'm Cage Jamber. I live in Bemidji. I've been playing guitar since I was in elementary school. And I would say the sound that I am gravitating towards is the sound that I heard on the radio in the CDs as a young child. So my parents played a lot of folk and rock and blues in the house. And I've picked up on differences in those genres and I'm able to make kind of a folky sound or leaning more towards rock or blues in some songs. And then also in some of my compositions, being in band and orchestra in school has helped develop my ear a little bit and pushed me more towards a well-rounded, I don't know, different genres of music influence it, so. And when did you first pick up the guitar? I've had guitars in my house since I was born, so, you know, little kids will just go strumming the strings and not know what they're doing. It's more of a drum than a stringed instrument at that point in time. But I played ukulele in, must have been third grade, and they told us it's the same four strings on a guitar. 
And so we learned basic chords in third grade and I could take those home and put them on the guitar. Wrote my first song, I Like My Eggs With Ketchup On Top, just using two of the chords you learned in ukulele class. And the rhythm ended up being, I like my eggs with ketchup on top. And that's the whole song. And then I went from there and self-taught learning more chords on the guitar. Sky is a painting with treetops invading, ink spots creating, and I will always love you. And all that you do, drinking caffeine with sugar and cream, you're the stitch in my seam, and I will always love you. you do cause when you're not around can't be seen at all with your garden in the ground and your art on my wall with musical sounds our love will sing tall our hearts they were bound by the feelings of fall The teas on the stove, the bikes that we rode, you fell asleep while I drove. I will always love you and all that you do. But enough shirts sleeping on the earth because you are worth it. I will go this night through So tomorrow I can be with you Cause when you're not around Can't be seen at all With your garden in the ground And your art on my wall With musical sounds Our love will sing tall our Hearts, they were bound by the feelings of fall. Cause when you're not around, can't be seen at all. The garden in the ground and your art on my wall. A love will sing tall. Our hearts, they were bound with musical sounds and the feelings of fall. I will always love you 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 When did you start performing in front of audiences? I would have to say, thanks to being in orchestra and in band, getting on the stage at a young age like that kind of gave me that confidence and the ability to be on a stage. And then in middle school, we had some benefit concerts for different events at school, and I was asked to play some songs. And that was, I probably played three songs, but I remember being really nervous, and it was like the biggest day of my life, and I, you know, I wore special clothes for it and played my three songs. And that was the first time I played in front of a audience of, you know, my friends and my parents, basically, probably 12 years old. Across the 
tree, testing patience twice, getting vitamin D through the rock and through the ice. Put your doubt in my mountains, honey, for the falling to the sea. I put my faith in the flames, girl, now the embers burn in me. A cabin in the woods, now the nails turn to rust. Yeah, I did what I could, now I watch my feelings turn to dust. Oh. Mouth and leave me with eyes. 
Thank you. I played half of my set acoustic and half of it electric with my dad playing drums and that was really fun. And I've had my acoustic guitar for most of my life and I would write songs on that and I didn't think anything of it. I just wrote songs, it was what I knew. And then I saw on Craigslist somebody posted an electric guitar and an amp. So I went and looked at it and I ended up buying it and I brought it home and I plugged it in and I had no clue that it would be like a whole new world. It's like I went from using a watercolor brush to a permanent marker. So it's like I can make these crazy new sounds and, and I can make these new textures and it, it really pushed me to write a different way. So if I'm writing a song with my electric guitar with the amplifier and the distortion on, my brain thinks about it differently and I have different feelings and emotions that go into it. When I'm writing on my acoustic guitar, it's the same thing. I'm sitting down and my brain is wired differently when I have that instrument in my hands. And depends on my mood. Sometimes I'll go home and just want to play by a campfire or make a beautiful melody. Other times I want to, you know, make really awesome textures with different distortions and echoes and reverbs, that kind of thing.
twice She's more naughty than nice But as stubborn as I am Did not heed her advice Now she's in my heart for free Now she's got a part of me She's got the bags packed Leaving for eternity She's my old soul I've been told Though it's new to me She's got an old soul I've been told Thank you. Thank you so much. It's never too late to learn an instrument or put yourself out there. Play it the wrong way, play it the right way, however you want to play it. Create something with it. And if you know of anybody in your life that's experimenting with music or trying to put themselves out there with arts in any way, just really be supportive of that and know that there are venues in, in northern Minnesota that are very caring and um, compassionate places to expose your art to the world for the first time.
Thank you. Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. If you enjoy watching Backroads online, please consider making a tax-deductible donation at lptv.org.